Meantime, a major decision is made in the road to reopening. Miami-Dade schools announcing their plans for the upcoming school year, which is now being delayed. Classes will now resume one week later. And students will be starting the school year the same way they ended it, online and at home. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer joins us live from the Miami-Dade School Board building with all the information parents and students need to know. Brooke. Hey ladies, good morning. The superintendent for Miami-Dade County Public Schools has maintained he didn't think it would be appropriate to open schools for in-person learning amid high coronavirus case numbers. Now that decision is official. Public school students across Miami-Dade County will start the school year online. Miami-Dade students will kick off the new school year physically away from classmates. That means all students in Miami-Dade County will start classes online. All students will be officially returning to schooling on August 31st. Superintendent Alberto Carvalho made the announcement Wednesday during a virtual school board meeting. This is in essence a one week delay from the first day of school originally approved earlier on in the year. Broward schools already announced classes will start online on August 19th. Both districts are keeping classrooms closed because COVID-19 positivity rates are too high. Computer simulations from Europe suggest that school reopenings may further increase transmission risk in communities where the transmission is already high. This comes a week after Governor Ron DeSantis pushed for classrooms to reopen, but he did give the green light for schools to push back a start date if needed. Superintendent Carvalho says the week before online classes will be for orientation. He said classes in Miami-Dade County may reopen in early October if virus rates are low. We have abandoned the hybrid models for several reasons. Miami-Dade Public Schools will instead start the school year in three stages. The first will be online with elementary K through 8 and high school starting around 8:30 a.m. and middle schools starting at 9:10 in the morning. The second stage is to start a regular school week model or parents can choose to keep their kids online. The third stage will be to have everyone in class, but online learning won't disappear. Those families who prefer to have their children remain in that model for the remainder of the school year. No doubt, uh, families will. The district says buses may look different. They're planning on having one student per row once classrooms do reopen. Now, the district said they will continue to provide meals for students who rely on that at school. That's something that they have continued to do throughout the summer. They also said they'll have a contact tracing program in case any students do test positive. I'm live in downtown Miami, Brooke Schaefer, CBS4, this morning.